Okay, hello everyone. So today I'm gonna be doing like a DIY video, I guess. Um, I just wanna transform, well not transform, but I wanna paint this white. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try it myself. I've never painted anything before besides my nails. So I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Um, but basically this TV stand right here, I want it to be white. Um, because my goal is to have all white furniture in this house um, so yeah I didn't buy um, a can of paint so you're not gonna see me brushing or anything I did buy two spray paint bottles um, so yeah but first we're gonna sand this first so that the paint will actually stick I guess that's what it's for because uh, I talked to my brother last night and he was like yeah you should at least sand it first and then paint it or like spray paint it um, so yeah I'm gonna start working on the doors first and then at the end of this video I will show you a before and after pictures um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get started I have my sweats on that I don't mind getting paint on and yeah I have my hair up and yeah, I'm ready because it my living room just looks weird with this black TV stand. So yeah, I'm really excited for this. So I just finished sanding this one drawer and it looks lighter than the original. So we just removed basically the first layer of paint. Buffer. I mean, we just sand it. So. Yeah, and I got the um, sandpaper for wood, obviously, and it's the fine um, texture because there was one that was more coarse than this, um, but I didn't want that because I don't want it to be like too um, too rough. So. Here it is. I'm gonna try spray painting this now and see. So I was just reading the directions on the spray paint bottle or can, whatever you want to call it. And it says that after you sand the surfaces, you have to clean it with soap and water and you have to rinse and let it dry. Okay, so we're just gonna wipe it off because I'm not gonna freaking take this into my bathtub and soak the whole thing because it's wood. So I got this small towel and I wet only half of it so I can use the other half to wipe it dry. And if you can see behind me, I'm actually watching Ant-Man. Um, me and Chris have been trying to watch it for a long time now, but I would always fall asleep. So we finished halfway last night and then I fell asleep. So now I'm re-watching it because I hate it when I finish something halfway and I go back the next day and watch the rest. Like, I don't want to do that. Okay, so it's dry now. Shake vigorously. Hopefully two cans is enough for this whole thing. So I got the Rust Oleum Painter's Touch Double Coverage and this is, um, I got the flat white one. I was going to get the gloss white but uh, I didn't know how I felt about that. So yeah, this is fast drying, non-yellowing, and UV resistant. It's good for wood, metal, plastic, and more. So if I have extra, I could even like paint other things in my house. I have this carton um, which came with the dining table and I'm using it so I don't like spray paint my tiles. Okay, so I'm gonna try it on like one side first. Actually, we are going to try it on a small piece of In first and see how it is. See. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but okay. Ooh. This 
is crazy. those two drawers and now we're gonna work on this big guy right here so I'm gonna sand the top the sides and right here I don't really mind the inside being black because I feel like I'm gonna struggle painting that but we'll see though we'll see okay so I'm in the process of painting the big one now I also put a cardboard in the back it's actually like an old box but um i put it there so i wouldn't spray my um tile in the back and my dining table but so far it looks good i'm actually doing the side first and then the bottom and then work my way up and then i'm gonna do the sides so yeah and don't worry my windows are open all the way so um this place is well ventilated so yeah i'm really excited because the drawers looks so good right now and I can't wait for this to finish <sighs> okay so I pretty much painted the whole thing already um, all the sides um, I was thinking that um, it's not necessary for me to do the inside of the drawer or the chest because no one's gonna see it anyway because once I put in the drawers um, it's gonna be blocked but I painted everything else and it looks so good I'm just gonna touch up on these sides but yeah, I'm gonna let it dry. Hopefully it won't take too long. Um, and then I'm gonna get a um, fabric that'll go on top of it so that it won't get damaged by the TV. But yeah, I will show you guys a before and after picture right now. Yeah, that is all for this DIY video. It wasn't much. I wasn't gonna build my own TV stand or anything because I already had one. But yeah, I just wanted to paint it white so that it'll go with my living room. And if you can hear a lot of noises in the background, there are construction going on um, outside. But anyway, yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Like this video and drop a comment if you'd like. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!